Hello duckies and welcome back to Queen's Wish the Conqueror. My name is Viola and we are right back into the middle of this fight bef as we attempt to escape before the bomb goes off um, with this beaten battle mage throwing everything he's got at us. So we're gonna try to throw everything we can at him. Try being the main word. She's got no more potions. Let's do that. <coughs> mm, sorry, guys. But yeah, last time I learned that had I just gone straight through and tried to light the bomb, I probably would have just had the one enemy. Um, we ended up losing our mage to a battle where I thought I would have to go and get the fuse again. Um, come to find I don't, but you know, that's that's how it goes sometimes. Does not make this fighting any less of an annoyance at this point. Um, gonna sacrifice our priest there, really. Wait, here we go. Yes, all right. Get that, I hit that. We gotta get out of here before the place blows. Right. Let's go, 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 go. We need out. Bye, guys. Whoa. Time is up. The oil jar explodes. This sets off the jars next to it. The combined blast sets off the jars down the hall. A, wi a wall of fire roars through the upper floors of the complex. The walls and ceilings shake. For a moment, you think it's all it'll all collapse on you. Then things quiet down. It's scorching hot. Smoke and dust are everywhere, but you're alive. You hear the creak and wail of twisting metal. The enormous iron gates of Tabhalan Pass break loose from the tracks and crash into the floor. The Owen, with your help, will be able to re breach the fortification now. Run! Run! Run, run, run! Didn't do a thing! Nobody saw anything! Didn't do a thing. <laughs> All right, let's level up. Um, okay, so you got that. Let's do weakness. another level of weakness. Uh, we were working on getting magic for him, but we also I think silence would do really, really, really well. So we want that. Um, all she's got left to learn, really, is bull rush. Um, I've got quite a bit, but that's because I got all of this. Um, but let's do another level of stunning shot. Fill in that. Alright, and now that we've done that, let's go tell the Owen in Madraka what has happened. Hmm. I mean, admittedly, yes, there were quite a few people that were just doing their job, but, you know, you can only do so much. Let's go up. Let's 
speaker Tarmana walks over to speak with you. The hall goes quiet. All eyes are on him. The rebels are coiled like springs, ready to objective anything about your negotiations isn't to their liking. The gates of the Palin Pass have been destroyed. Now this gets everyone's attention. Speaker Tamana looks at you and clears his throat a little. The rebels look at you with respect. No fear. Tarmana suddenly looks very much like a peasant out of his depths. We have heard rumors, but what did you do to the gates? I blew them up. I see. You snuck into the fortress. You fought the finest warriors of the Masha. You defeated them and you destroyed the fortress. This is so. Haven is as mighty as we were told. You can save us. The other rebels nod. It is true, with you on our side, the Masha will never hurt us again. We will be your vassals. As a token of our gratitude, you can have full access to this fortress. Let's sign a treaty. There's a long delay while the Owen write and rewrite parts of the treaty. They're, they are making changes and fixing typos with quill pens even as it's carried over to your table. You look it over. For all of the addenda and errata, it is more or less the same as your original treaty of vassalage with Tamasha. Sign the treaty. You sign the page. Several more copies are hastily made and you sign them too. Tarmana isn't sure what to do. Someone whispers something in his ear. He slaps the table with his hand. I formally declare resolution of negotiations with a formal power. Foreign power. The Owen cheer. Only one more small gesture is required, princess. Yet another thing? Go to the Vol gates. Tell your general Aquila what has happened here today. Send her into the Vol with our permission. It's time to win this war. The Owen cheer again and the audience is over for today. I'd say I had access to everything now. It's not a lot more to see. <laughs> it seems like a victory. Things always can seem like a victory. Let's go in and talk to the general, though. General Quilla sits at her desk, which has been carried out here, set on the gravel, is covered with maps and scrolls. I'm ready to give you your orders. General Quilla grins, eager with anticipation. The treaty is in place. The defenses of the unfortunate side have been reduced. Then we have action at last. This laziness has been slowly corrupting us. We are ready to end this war, and I'm sure the people of the all are too. Where do I send your warriors? Launch an assault on Thabalan. Help the Owen win their freedom. It will be done. The Owen will be free. My experience tells me that there will be a time of great chaos in the bowl. The Owen will have a lot of grudges. A lot of reprisals will happen. We will try to keep the robbery low, but a lot of our supplies will be lost. Also, they are sure to pay us less tribute. For now, however, we will get to work. You have done your mother proud. I will let her know that the bowl is our vassal again, at last. But it still really doesn't feel that good, does it? Camp is bursting to life. Soldiers are packing up their gear and chatting with excitement. Cody is digging into supplies. General Quilla is barking orders. Soon, small groups of Haven's finest soldiers will enter the vault, ready to train and support your chosen side. You've laid the groundwork. Now they will win your war. 
good to know. Let's travel to Kelleran and then we want to go south from Kelleran to what is going on down here. Oh, we actually need to go around. Eh, it's a bit frustrating, but okay. Trying to tie up some loose ends while we're out and about, guys. You ascend into this remote valley. You aren't a skilled tracker, but even you can tell that a lot of booted feet have moved up and down this path. Refuge and mine tailings line the path. There's a small band of miners waiting for you to the north. Alright. From a distance, these dirty reprobates looked like miners. Up close, you can see that their weapons are well maintained, and they want armor under their clothes. They scowl as you approach. One of them steps forward. This is our mine. Our claim. Registered with Haven. You can't come in. They are far more numerous and better armed than the other scavenging bands in these lands. Tell me about your mine. No. I'm princess of, I am a princess of Haven and I will enter. They scowl quietly. This is their only response. Alright. I'll be going. You turn and leap. You feel their hostile glares burning into your back. Hmm. Except... I can't just leave. Journey to the vault. I hate eliminating people. These are my lands, step aside or else. There's a long, awkward silence. Then, as one, they drop the pretense of being miners. They raise their weapons in advance. Miners are not. These are trained warriors. Alright, so we want to deal with the sorcerer. Is there anybody else that we really need to... No, no, not straight away. Okay. Keep them distracted. Or solid buff. Forward four. Deal with the sorcerer. Sorry if you guys hear my stomach growling. I'm not sure if that's picking up on the the microphone. I don't know what's going on. I I smell that Captain Zanuck is cooking, but I don't know what. And it smells very, very good. from them. Distance will take out the archer as per usual and there we go. After an exhausting battle you search the bodies. You find no treasure or sign of who they were. You find a bunch of abandoned camps. The fires are lit. The tents are standing. Everything else, food, tools, personal effects are gone. You search the valley, trying to find where they went. Thanks to what you learned in the north, you're able to find the concealed entrance to a narrow mine shaft. You enter the hidden headquarters of the Rusty Barb. This pathetic band of bullies would not have lasted five minutes if Haven's forces had remained here. Thanks to the map you found in the mine to the north, you were able to find the entrance to the dark and dank tunnel. If memory serves, there's a button hidden behind the second stalagmite. 
Where haven cowards but you we know you are coming, the bar will not submit. You look behind the list to lag my, by the west wall. Sure enough, there's a button in the wall. When you press it, you're a grinding sound to the south. Oh, hi guys. What you up? As you get close to the west door, you hear a loud clunk. The ground vibrates under your feet. You hear chains scraping over stone. There were no guards placed here. But that's probably because they were keeping clear of the traps. As you re ready your weapon, one of the gates to the s in the side wall starts to open. All, if all they're throwing at us is wolves, then we're really, really, really not that bothered. Oh! And snakes. Okay, well, I mean, that's that's bothering a little. <clears throat> that that's a little bothering. Yeah, yeah, that that's a little bothering. Oh, come on, guys. Seriously? How can everybody miss? Stop missing. stops vibrating. The sound of scraping chains abruptly ceases. There's a loud reassuring clunk. Finally, there's one more sound. A soft click from the door to the west. <sighs> I don't like that sound, though. I don't like chittering. Why is the chittering? Don't like the chittering. Barbs. <laughs> okay, I'm only going to be able to hit three with that, but it's better than nothing, and then we buff everybody, and... We gotta move on. I think I'm actually running out of time, guys, so we will pick up this battle at the beginning of the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye bye!